um, what I'm going to present in this video is um, the course expectations for you guys. So I have three to um, explain now. We have the college algebra, the GE10. We have the uh, math A, the fundamentals of mathematics, and we have number theory. That's a major subject for the BS Ed math third year. Um, if you want to go um, directly to your to your um, course that I will be handing, you can move the video. You can um, forward the video to the uh, proper um, time where it should be there. Okay, so I will be um, explaining first the GE10. This is college algebra. This is the um, co equivalent of three units. The course description as, are as follows. I'm going to read it once. This course provides ample content for a combined concept of intermediate algebra and college algebra. It is meant to develop the mathematical skills of students beyond memorizing formulas, take note, and concepts. It involves topics which are supplementary to students' interest and ability to compute or solve algebraic problems. It further commences with the introduction of signed numbers, all algebraic terminologies, theories, and methods of elementary or basic algebra as well as theoretical discussions suited to all students. Mathematical laws and principles are applied and tested in solving problems to help the students understand and interpret many facts about the real world in terms of mathematics. Emphasis is on the four fundamental operations of polynomials, fractions, and rational numbers. It also introduces the basic principle of factoring and fundamental concepts of exponents and radicals. So that's um, the overall, you know, the bird's eye view of what you will expect in, in our course, College Algebra. What will be the overall course outcomes? Um, at the end of the semester, you must be able to understand the concept of the real number system. Okay, that's number one. Number two, perform the fundamental operations on, on real numbers, algebraic expressions, and equations. Number three, perform operations on fractions, exponents, and radicals, and uh, most importantly, apply um, apply them. Sorry, apply them, apply what they learned rather, apply what they learned to the world prob to the real world problems. So this will be in a in a form of a um, word problems, okay, such as uh, investment problems, number problems, digit problems, all of which are very important and necessary when you will be taking the board exam. I understand that this GE 10 is given to all students. Um, I am now handling this to all. I I mean the uh, the courses that I will be teaching with this college algebra are all education students. So understand that um, this is important when you will take the board exam. Okay, so don't take this for granted because um, everyone will have this general education part in the board exam. Okay, so um, we need to understand how to apply this. Um, all of this, all of the course outcomes, in especially this one, two, three, four. I know that all of this will came out of the board exam. If you will have your review after you graduate, you will still review this. So it's better that you you have the strong concept now. So what will be our course outcomes um, given this um, situation now? So we have a midterm period and we have the finals period. So I'm going to um, specify first the midterm period since this is where we are now. Our module one is the real number system. Um, this is good for two weeks. Okay, so two weeks. I'll give you a head start, by the way. Um, I'll, I'm, go I'm going to upload this soon. Module 2 is Fundamental Operations with Algebraic Expressions. This is also good for two weeks. Um, by the way, at the end of Module 2, there will be a quiz number 1, a long quiz number 1, which summarizes Modules 1 and 2. Okay. Uh, module 3 um, is Special Products and Factoring. This, be, this will be worth for four weeks, say, let's say a month. Okay. This will be, um, you might be quite... Um, I, you know, it's ironic that this this module three is has the one with the shortest number of pages when it comes to modules, but it's the one most applicable, the one with a with a lots of um, formulas to be mastered, um, so that if you're going to look at one ex one algebraic expression, you know what to do, how to factor them, which is very essential again when you take the board exam. At the end of module three, um, there will be a quiz number two. Okay, so we have two quizzes in this midterm. Um, similarly, in our finals, um, we will be trying to follow that same schedule. Okay, or if not, so I will, of course, inform you um, whatever will be the schedule for finals period. Anyways, we're here in the midterm. So module one, two weeks, module two, two weeks, module three, four weeks. 
Okay, at the end of module two, quiz one, at the end of module three, quiz two, um, we have one week spare. Um, after the, the quiz two of module three, we have, I will give you a week or say uh, some time, okay, enough time to answer our problem set. Okay, that will be, that will answer our question here in the assessment, okay? So what is your output? Your output is a 20% of the problem set after this whole midterm. Okay, so after the quiz 1 and quiz 2, that will be 20%, um, that's a problem set. Okay, it's uh, simply a worksheet, um, not like the quizzes, which is quite, um, you have choices in the quizzes. Okay, so in the output, you will need to solve them um, by hand. Okay, shall we say. Quizzes, so we have 20%, since you have um, two quizzes, you may think of each quiz to be 10% of your grades. Okay, simple as that. And we have, of course, our periodical, periodical exam. That's our exams. 60%, more than half of your grades is our exams. So this is quite um, important in your grades. Um, I don't need to explain why. <laughs> okay, so take note. Again, as I said in the orientation, the cutoff score is 70%. So if you want to pass, get 70% of the perfect score. Okay, so that's it for college algebra. Let me scroll down. Let's go to fundamentals of mathematics. This one... Um, um, is taken when you are a first year um, student, first year college student. Um, specifically, in in my in my case, I am ha handling the math A of liberal arts students. Okay, so again, this is math A, um, fundamentals of mathematics. Number of units we have three, and course course description. I'll read this once. This course is is designed only for students in the education and liberal arts department. The course covers fundamental arithmetic principles leading to algebra, which includes the fundamental operations and applications in the different sciences. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Math A is given in the first year. GE 10 is given in the second year. Okay. So what are the course outcomes? At the end of the semester, the students can, um, number one, understand the key concepts in arith arithmetic, including the system of the real numbers. Um, so which means um, for the college algebra, you will review that since you have... Um, saw this already or learned this already in math A. And number two, perform the fundamental operations in the real numbers, decimals, fractions, among others. And number three, illustrate the relationship of decimals, percents, and fractions, leading to ratio and proportion, and apply these in basic business mathematics. So that will be our course outcome for the math A. Um, particularly, math A is like um, a review of all your mathematics, arithmetic way back then in your high school years, in your elementary years, just a refresher before you enter the college algebra. Okay, so that's your course outcomes. What will be our course outline, the modules given for the midterm period? Um, I made this very simple. Um, for midterms, we have two modules. For finals, we have two modules. So we have two modules per period. Okay, for module one, uh, the name of this module is numeration system and the real numbers. So that's module one. Module two, um, fundamentals of number theory and the rationals. Module three, decimals, percents, and fractions. Module four, ratio and proportion, and business mathematics. So for module one, this is, will be good for four weeks. Let me check my schedule. Yes, it is. Um, at the end of module one, um, you'll be given quiz number one. Um, secondly, module two is good for four weeks also. At the end of module two, you'll be given quiz number two. Or shall we say long quiz number two? So since you have two quizzes, um, each quiz is 10% practically. Okay. And after the module two, after all these two modules are done, you'll be given a problem set. And that will be a worksheet for you to answer by hand. Unlike the quizzes, it has choices. Okay, so output is 20%. It's only a single um, a single a single go. You cannot retake the output. So um, again, it's 20% of your grades. That's a big deal, uh, for, at least for me. And examinations, again, is 60%. So a total of 100%, that will be your grades for Math A. Okay, so that's it for Fundamentals of Mathematics. Let me scroll down for number theory. This is a major subject for third year mathematics major in, uh, I mean, major in mathematics education students. Okay, so Math 111 is the course title. It's number theory. Um, it has three units and it's a major subject, like I said. So what are what is this course description? I'll read it. I'll read this once. The course is a study of the properties of numbers and their proofs. Okay, so highlighting on the proofs. Okay, so math people, um, I have given you already a head start. Hopefully you have studied that. 
it presents the students with different methods of mathematical proving. Okay, that's also one. So um, if you can remember, um, I gave you already a book to read. Hopefully you read that. Um, the book that's a book that's the book about proofs uh, taught teaching you how to prove directly, how to prove by contrapositive, co proof by contradiction, by cases, and uh, the basic ones. It focuses on the discussion of the set of integers that includes unique prime factorization, divisibility rules, Euclidean algorithm, linear congruences, and the linear Diophantine equations. Um, um, chill, take it easy. I will discuss this one by one. Okay, so four course outcomes. At the end of the semester, the students can, number one, write mathematical proofs effectively. So I put that as number one since that's the main purpose of the lesson. If you haven't, of that course rather, if you haven't mastered um, mathematical, mathematical proofs in your logic and set theory, since logic and set theory is the prerequisite of the subject, by the way, um, we will have this as a review. And I will make this like a preparatory course for your abstract algebra, which will be taken um next semester i think okay um number two illustrate different key concepts in the field of number theory involving the integers of course since it's number theory so when I say key concepts it's general there's a lot of key concepts you may um look above what i meant when you say key concepts uh, these things and number three solve theorems and practical examples involving the theory of congruences so theory of congruences also known as modular arithmetic um, we'll learn that in the finals period. Okay, so what are the course outcomes, midterm and finals? I made it simple also. We have two modules per period. Okay, two modules per period. So module one is fundamental properties and preliminary considerations. Okay, so that's module one. That will be good for four weeks. Okay, so it's not really that preliminary since it's four weeks. So expect a lot of uh, the start of proving. Okay. Uh, the base, the uh, you know, the start of proving. Module two, divisibility theory and fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So that is where we will see our divisibility rules. Um, anyways, the divisibility rules. Um, you can just see since you're math majors, I believe. Yes. Um, you can just see your your sub math subjects before. I didn't really explicitly put the divisibility rules there, but if you want, I can give it as a as a review. Uh, and the fundamental arithmetic theorem of arithmetic, that's the unique prime factorization. Anyways, for the module one, it's good for four weeks. After that four weeks, I will give you um, ample time, enough time to answer the quiz number one. Basically, in my schedule here, after the four weeks of module one, you have one week to answer quiz number one. So, yeah, so you will have no problem. Um, I'll just update if there will be any changes. But in my schedule now, four weeks module one, one week for quiz number one, right after module one. And then four weeks module two, you will be given like also ample time a week, shall we say, to answer quiz number two. Okay, so for the major subject, Math 111, I change it a little bit. Since I give I gave you already the output, the output is not is not really a one that you will need to submit that needs to be submitted it's an output where you need to study if you can remember i posted it already in our group um a book you need to read that book so that it will aid you in the quiz so what does it mean um what do i mean when i say that it will aid you in the quiz for your quiz number one quiz number two since we don't have um a concrete output that needs to be submitted so but your output is a reading an article reading, a book reading, shall we say, um, it will aid you in your quizzes. So I change it a bit. So, excuse me, for quiz number one, it will be 20%. Okay, so that's why quiz number one will be given for one week. Quiz number two will be given for also another week or enough time for you to give it, to do it. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'll make it, I'll give you ample time. So in my schedule, it, you are given two days Okay, I'll try to adjust that. Okay, that's 20%. So practically one quiz is equivalent to 20%. Um, it's not like the the ones before. Maybe you will think that it will be like the, the college algebra and, and the math A where it has choices. No, um, this quiz number one and quiz number two will be like problem sets. 
okay, there will be light problems as you will be writing mathematical proofs most of the time, if not all. And then examinations is 60%. That's a total of 100%. So that's it for Math 101, number theory. Uh, hopefully, you guys understood that. Okay, BSA Math 3, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so that's it for my course ex course um, description today, course expectations today. Um, you may want to watch this video again if you have some clarifications. And kindly please comment down below if you have some questions. Comment in, in the comment sections, please. Okay, that will be all. Thank you.